This is Steve Freed. We're here at the American Diabetes Association, 77th Scientific Studies, and we're here to present you some exciting interviews with some of the top endos from all over the world. And we have a very unique guest, Amin Zahani. It's Amin Zahani. Amin Zayani. Amin Zayani. Yeah. Okay. Um, who is involved with technology and diabetes um, with a, a product that I, I kind of find it was always a need, but nobody ever developed a product to take care of that need. I don't know why it should have been developed when insulin was discovered, you know, back in the early century. So maybe we can start off with, and tell us a little bit about yourself. You came all the way from Germany to be here. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself um, and, and what you do. Right. So uh, my name is Amin. I was born and raised in Tunisia, North Africa, and I moved to Germany to study environmental uh, resource and management. So I'm a solar energy engineer by uh, training, but I also live with type 1 diabetes for uh, 10, almost 11 years now. And uh, I take daily injections to stay alive and well. And uh, a couple of years ago, I had a, um, a very frustrating incident when my insulin uh, stopped to work. I was taking loads of insulin and uh, my blood glucose wouldn't drop and I ended up in the hospital but luckily without uh, DKA and um, I realized later that my refrigerator uh, failed to keep the right temperature um, to store my insulin and uh, um, yeah, I, it was a very frustrating uh, incident or accident, and I tried to find a solution to prevent it uh, from happening again. I didn't find it, so I decided to make one. So that's kind of interesting. One of the other things I find, uh, including the fellow that just walked out of here, uh, who developed a very unique product with a blood glucose monitor uh, that is attached, well, it's not attached, but Basically, if you have questions, you can ask a CDE in text and get a response. Besides, it's wireless and all that great stuff. So technology is really changing rapidly. But what I find is that people that have the people that develop the most efficient and breakthrough products when it comes to diabetes are people with type one diabetes. Okay. And and that's because you're passionate about what you do. You see a need because of your diabetes, yeah. and you want to do something, not just for yourself, but you want to do something for the masses out there. Uh, so that makes you a very passionate person when it comes to helping others. And, it, you know, that's great because those are the type of people that I get to work with all the time. Everybody I work with involved in diabetes is passionate because we don't involve ourselves in diabetes to be millionaires. We do it because we want to help people. And I, I can certainly say the same for you, otherwise you wouldn't have developed it. So let's talk about the product a little bit. Um, you have a unique product that fills a need, so tell us a little bit about it. So uh, as I told you earlier, um, it all started on uh, that day when my refrigerator accidentally froze my insulin and made it completely useless. And uh, there was no way to find out because it doesn't change color or consistency and I was just injecting loads of it and it didn't work. And uh, it was quite frustrating because this is the kind of uh, stupid accidents that shouldn't happen. All you need is something to keep track of the storage temperature and to al alert you when there's a problem. And uh, I tried to find a solution that does this because the cold chain is very... Um, closely and um, meticulously um, monitored and processed until the moment of dispensing the insulin to patients. And um, so I thought that it's not a technology problem and that um, it must be another kind of problem why this doesn't exist. And to make a long story short, I decided to uh, come up with a solution to this and um, I can show it to you now. So it's, uh, it's a very easy um, to use and practical device. It's a wireless temperature sensor that uh, continuously measures the temperature of 
insulin or any other temperature sensitive medication. It is placed um, with the insulin, in my case, this is my insulin, uh, in this case, and also in the refrigerator at home. And it's connected wirelessly with my phone. And um, every time it starts to get dangerously hot or cold, I get an alarm. Um, and these are, this is basically the um, idea, uh, the general idea. A number of de details or features make it uh, um, very special and unique. And uh, one of them is uh, how easy it is to see the interface and understand what's happening. Because, for example, it's showing now a temperature of 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a very abstract figure for someone who's not trained. Um, as a pharmacist or who doesn't have the um, understanding for this. But a green heart is very easy to understand. This is something my little cousin understands or my grandmother understands. You look at the screen and you see that it's a green heart and you know you're fine. Um, when it gets warm, then it turns into an orange uh, and raising heart. Um, and a red heart upside down is too hot and then the same in the other direction. So it starts to get cool and then when it's too cold. Um, so this is uh, uh, one main feature of our product. The second feature is that um, all you need to do as a user is to select your medication from uh, the list of supported medications we have. We support all of the insulins that are available on the market in the US and in Europe. And um, all you need to do is to select the medication you're using, the insulin you're using, the package. Um, so if it's a vial or a uh, um, cartridge or um, a throwaway pen, and that's it. You're set. You're done. The app will know what is the safe range for um, your insulin or your medication, um, whether it's open, so uh, after it's taken out of the fridge or when it is still in the fridge and will, al will alert you only when it's critical. So you can either protect it if it's not too late, or you know with 100% certitude that it's no longer good and you need to get uh, fresh insulin.